Hey, how are you, friends? Uh, this is uh, JP Sarri uh, coming again to have another uh, book review, another um, comic collection review. Uh, in this case, I got the, I have the X Men uh, Marvel X Men Mutant Genesis 2.0. Uh, this is a special treat for me. Um, I already um, review and I already showed the Omnibus, um, in this case, Volume Two, and these stories are contained in that. Um, on that omnibus and that collection. Now this book, and in specific, this Mutant Genesis 2.0, and it's 2.0 because actually there was, prior to this, there was Mutant Genesis, that uh, regular one that came out a few years back, and they include the, in this case, the X-Men, uh, in this case, the X-Men from um, issue number one to issue number seven. Uh, th they are included on the, of course, on the omnibus, like I said. Um, but this Mutant Genesis 2.0 actually, uh, what Marvel did is that they, they stripped down the color completely out of this comics. They just left the, the drawing, in this case Jim Lee drawing, and Scott Williams um, inking everything just uh, pretty much bare, completely bare, just without color. And they, um, in this case, brought somebody else to do uh, a team, in this case directed by Thomas Mason, to do the new coloring uh, with the modern colors. Of course, they have to use software. This is a great idea. I really love what they did with this this collection. Uh, even though it's not a comprehensive collection, it has just a few issues. I like the, what they did because he brought so much life into it. Right here on the side, you can see Marvel, uh, X-Men, Mutant Genesis uh, 2.0 uh, and everything else. Here in the back, in the back, you see a fresh take on a classic saga. And of course, you know, collecting X-Men uh, 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 number one to number uh, number seven, one of the most iconic, uh, actually, storylines uh, of the X Men. In this case, uh, the first seven chapters. Now, removing the dust jacket, you can see right there is uh, it's pretty much plain black, but it has this kind of like uh, you know like fluorescent metallic blue, and it has the same thing. It's a very nice little book. As you can see, it's not as thick because you just have seven issues in there. But I like what they did. I like the you know the X Men and, and you know and that in blue. It's a very nice book, and you know you can see the quality is great. One of the best qualities. And as you can see right there, it says X Men Mutant Genesis 2.0, and it gives you everybody that participates in the book. You know I like this. Honestly, I do. Um, I like this cover. You know all the coloring, the work that has been done has improved upon the, what it was already an amazing drawing. You know uh, by done by Jim Lee and Scott Will and Scott Williams as as his anchor uh, I like the fluorescent you know everything comes to life now in a different color you can see that that metal you know that energy color you know you cannot really recreate 20 years ago there was no way that you could do that with just regular coloring I'm probably I'm gonna show you at the end of the video um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna make a comparison with the, uh, the the you know the originals you know in this case from you taking uh, I'm using the omnibus as an example and you can compare them and you see because in some cases it works good like I like the way it comes out here and in some cases actually I prefer the old way the, the old-fashioned way I, I prefer them even more uh, but you can see the story there I like actually right here Actually, this is something, one of the ones that came out so well because you can see the reflection of the light, something that is really hard to do with regular coloring. But now with computer animation, pretty much it is possible to do it. And it looks a lot, a lot cleaner, a lot better. It gets, it has more shade. You know, they change some of the colors. You know, it is an amazing story, really. Uh, but, you know, now with this coloring uh, in the regular one, it, it, this was actually all in the regular colors. But now you can see that there's an effect of the probably there and the special room um, where the lights are red and they're reflected in their body uh, I love you know this uh, this case uh, rogue but to be honest this is this one of the reasons the one of the ones that actually I like it even better on the regular edition be, be, I don't know for some reason I prefer them I think it has more power uh, but I still like it the way it is. You know, there's a lot of things that were done. You know, like for example, the inclusion of the Dark Knight. You know, it's in the middle of the night. You know, you couldn't do that on the old on the old um, comic without taking away from the cart from from the drawing. So, but now with the computer animation, it's possible. So I really like it. You know, it's, it gives more power, more infusion of energy. It gives more reality to the to the comic. It looks more real realistic. 
and it looks even better. Uh, I like the way you know it came out. It is just it's a it's a perfect thing. It brings so much detail that you never saw before. I like and in this panel actually I like it. The Wolverine looks even better. Uh, you know, and then you can see Silo looking amazing, amazingly stunning as always, beautiful. You know the art. You know it is great for a small little collection. All the color that has been improved, you know, everything that they added to it, it, it is a great, great, great addition. You know, I, I like it. You know, if you're not really looking for the whole collection, you don't want to pay that much money into it, I recommend you this. You know, really nice Beast right there. You know, Beast is such a great, great character. You know, so, you know, honestly, the way that he, he did it... Um, you know, uh, Jim Lee making look so perfect. You know, I don't think any other um, beast has been as as great as better than he does. But of course, you know, everything that Jim Lee touches is is gold. And I like this one, for example, right here. He looks so magnificent, and you know, and I get scary at the same time. You know, I I don't want to deal with a guy like this. I'm completely blown away by what it's done. Uh, like I said, in some instances, you know, like for example, right here, the gallery just look amazing. As you can see, everything now with the new coloring and everything, it looks it looks fantastic. You know, I'm really glad they did this. I wish that Marvel uh, was taking care of this more often. I wish that Marvel was doing more of this. Uh, beautiful like that, you know, with the new coloring. You know, Marvel girl Jean Grey looks fantastic. Uh, you know, it just it looks she looks so beautiful. You know, it gives so much shading, you know, it's amazing. Uh, the same problem that we had before in this one, this is a beautiful poster. Uh, but the same problem that Rogue is uh, kind of, it's hard to, it's kind of invisible in there. Uh, we still have the same problem, you know, we cannot see her there well. But she looks so, uh, you know, beautiful. She looks so, uh, you know, and, you know, I see Storm looks so gorgeous. Um, beautiful story, beautiful collection. You can see in this part where actually he drove himself Jim Lee, you know, a younger, younger Jim Lee that is actually chained to his work, but he's enjoying it. And, you know, in this case, Logan Wolverine right behind him looking and kind of pretty much in awe of his art and what was coming, what was his, what he's creating, you know. Some of the covers, you know, are beautiful the way they are now with the new coloring. I, like I was telling you, included some of the covers. This face, I like the way it came out, came out here with this new coloring. It gives the opportunity to, to really see the detail, the small detail, the metallic color and everything, you know. Something that 20 years ago, what, you know, any artist would dream of you know now it's possible you know give it that the you know the you know the color the lighting um the, the, the all this is just makes the, the work of the artist a lot easier uh, uh you know it, it is amazing you know it gives that you know and really that really what it really boils down at something that i really see is that um honestly looking through all of this you know really i like the power the color the infusion you know everything you know it's, it's amazing work and right here nick fury you know and that really shows that the you know the 90s um thing something that life feel kind of introduced the uh, the pouches and all this you know i really don't know how Nick Fury can just survive walking around in a daily you know every day with all those pouches and things you know but if that was the 90s thing over the top, you know, type of art. But going back to what I was saying, it really shows a lot. It really shows, uh, you know, that, um, you know, Jim Lee was already ahead of uh, ahead of his time. You know, his art, you know, now with this new coloring, it shows, it's so today, you know, it's, it's really looking at it, it's so present. It's so, um, you know, it's like, you would think that it was just done just yesterday and somebody just did it yesterday you know and it's so ahead of time you know still you know i don't think even some of the artists nowadays have the same power and capacity to do it you know i have a few reviews you know i read a few reviews about some some younger um collectors or people that you know uh, get into these comics and they, a lot of people they didn't like all this they said all this dialogue and all these balloons everywhere and they said that it was a you know makes the the art crowded and honestly you know i do respect people's opinions but the truth is that this is if you were not part of that generation it really wouldn't uh you wouldn't even care you know honestly and you know you know we're part of that generation you wouldn't understand this was so 90s it was part of the culture part of the art of that time we were so into it like you see this big dialogue you know there is a lot you know actually like this art I'll, you know i like it but actually i like the original a lot better you know and i'm gonna show you at the end and there's some panels so probably i'm gonna show you a comparison with each one of them so as you can see the covers of the omnibuses uh the this is the actually the special editions right there 
and then this is John Byrne writing here. I like this cover. It looks a lot better now with this new coloring. He improves and you can see Omega Ray looking mean as always as you know and you know all that the art the comparison you know it it is it is, it was a great done, uh, job by uh, in this case Thomas Mason I really give kudos to him for doing this job and the people that work with him doing it because he doesn't do it like alone you know he has uh, other people that help him out you know it really gives to this art so much you know and um uh, it is it is it is a great 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 work done and you know looking at you know in this case logan you know really looking and uh before you do this i don't know when i'm gonna be able to load this video but actually i just went and watched the movie yesterday uh the wolverine movie and i was so uh you know it was a good movie i'm not gonna give you the spoilers you know and uh, you know uh the storyline you know it's okay you, we know the stories you know a little bit they kind of deviate a little bit but it was a great movie i really had fun watching it you know and watching logan uh and that uh, you can see right here uh, beautiful cover it looks great now with the new coloring everything you know looks amazing you know right there you know it gives so much detail now and some parts is darker some parts is better and other in other in other areas it, it improves upon um, you know I'm so glad you know that they come up with a story like this I'm really glad that they did it and I wish actually that Marvel would do that with more not just uh, Jim Lee collection, but actually I would like to, like to see John Burns art or any other artist. You know, Scott, Ma you know, Todd McFarlane, and you know, it will be great to see uh, a lot of them. You know, having this new art, you know, this design, you know, all even the old cart, you know, the old classics, uh, Michael Golden. You know, it will be great, uh, Romita. It will be an, an awesome thing if they are able to pull it off, really. And yes, there, you know, you might say, well, you know, why do I need to get this, you know, if I can get the omnibus? Well, it's all up to you, you know. Nobody is forcing you to go and purchase, or you know, it's your money. But, you know, for somebody like me that loved that, that period of time, because, you know, when they, this were written, I was between, like, I was 13, 14 years old. Um, really, it was a great time for to grow up, you know, and... You know, it was it was amazing uh, right there. Uh, it was an amazing thing. Actually, the original is better. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to be very uh, picky about it, you know. And, you know, in some cases I like, in some cases I don't. But I, I really like what, it, what was done, the art. I like, you know, the infusion of the color. You know, I like it, you know. You know, I, I love it. You know, it is, it is a great, great, great collection. And here you can see some of the covers that Mason has done for some of these omnibuses and collections. As you can see, he has done all of the books uh, pretty much that have come out. Great, great, great job. I would say great job for, you know, who has been done. You know, the extension agenda, fusion agenda too. And, you know, it's, it, it is good. You know, I, I like this. I like this infusion uh, of color. And I like all these covers. Also, you can see right here, um, this the included in this is this the this posters and i really like they they add it up i like it. it it is amazing the work has been done the coloring is it, it is great the energy coming from magneto is just magnificent the coloring there's no way that can these can be improved better there's no way this is actually top of the line and you will not see another collection as good as this one you know just for these issues for the coloring you know it, it is it is magnificent Right here in the back, you can see another poster. I already showed you that, but now the here's on a larger scale. It looks it looks fantastic. It looks terrific. You know, the new coloring has improved this posters, making it look even more 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 realistic and more amazing. Right here is the poster of the in this case the Omnibus Volume One uh, X Men. Um, beautiful. I, I like how Storm. She looks so gorgeous. There, Polaris. Uh, Everybody else forge. Um, you can see all of them. You know all the characters. You know uh, it is. It is. It is a great, 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 great um, idea what they have done. And um, you know, and you know, right here the the classic uniform of Rogue, beautiful. You know, and I like you know the metallic, sh the shine. You know that um, in this case Colossus has is just giving more. It is amazing. It is an amazing. I always love this character. One of the greatest characters. Now this is the the cover for volume two, and it is just it's just outstanding, you know, standing looking at Logan, you know, like I said, and I said it again, and I will say it a million times, uh, Jim Lee knows how to draw Logan, you know, it's such an amazing job. Um, everybody else, you know, you can see Strife, you know, just 
it it is it is it is an, a nice nice bonus added to it. I think it's more bang for your buck. Uh, you know, for those that are col collectors of stuff like this, you know, it is it is a great great thing for a really uh, affordable price. Well, now as uh, as a final analysis um, of this um, this beautiful book, um, you already uh, we you already watched the the different panels that I show you. Um, difference in color in some cases it works perfectly in other cases it doesn't work as well so uh, you know you know there's a mix pretty much uh, emotions sometimes you know like I, sometimes I prefer the old way to the new way and in some other cases I think it was much better when they improve with the color uh, regardless of all of that I think this is a beautiful little book uh, beautiful little collection I recommend it to anybody it was priced to uh, forty nine dollars and fifty five dollars and ninety nine cents in Canada. I bought it for less than thirty dollars. You can find them on uh, Amazon for less than that. You know, they're very cheap. They're all over. Um, and I think it's a real nice book, real nice collection. It could be a nice gift for anybody uh, that loves X Men. So highly recommend it. And uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I hope this was uh, of great help for you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave your questions below. If you have any comments, uh, they are welcome to. Uh, any suggestions, we're, um, we're always eager to listen and try to help the best way we can. And I appreciate you have the time to watch this video. So have a good one, my friends. Uh, have a good one, um, the, um, uh, you know, everybody. <laughs> uh, so thank you for, for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.